So what makes the Boar's Head such a valuable community asset? Uh, the fact that there's no other public houses within a two and a half mile radius. Uh, we've got about three walking clubs. We have a football team, resident football team, a fishing club. We have various other activities of Gilbert Bill Gilbert and Sullivan Society Folk Club. Great atmosphere, brilliant place to be. A, a community club, a real community club. The staff certainly help. Uh, the ambiance, Gordon is fantastic. Uh, the food is, is, is next to normal. I'd say the cheese and onion pie is probably the best. And it's silly to say the best in the world, but it probably is. It's such a nice little pub. It's been there for as long as I can remember, certainly since I was a child. And it just seems to be a trend these days of small community things being taken over by big co corporations. So, yeah, I think I think it was a shame it'll be missed. What are your fears regarding the change in ownership? Uh, mainly that being a pub co, um, they will change it into something which they like and that people who actually pay the money to come here don't. I think the new owners will definitely change it, mm. definitely. Um, they're trying to move on in the world, they're coming from somewhere else, they have their own ideas, uh, they're going to have difficulty replicating what it is now, it should stay as it is, as a community pub.